say you want to get a small aquarium set up, five to 10 gallons, and you only want to get one fishy friend, but you don't want to get a betta. Why you don't want to get a betta, I don't know. Welcome to the Small Escape. Today we are talking small tanks, nano tanks, five to 10 gallon size specifically. And for those of you who may want to get, maybe you just want it really easy and fast to set up, get a nice little aquascape and pick out one fishy friend. You can spoil them. You can name them a cute little name. Like I've got a list. I've got an actual list of really fun fish names. Say for example, Cecil. I thought Cecil would make a, a really fun fish name. I don't know. Where was I? Now these fish that I'm going to mention, first of all, we should probably have species profiles in all of them. Whatever we do have, I'm gonna link down below. And if you find any of them interesting, you can go ahead and hop on flipaquatics.com. They are a channel sponsor, but they're gonna have awesome fish, plants, etc., etc. shrimp. <gasps> Just go take a peek around. If you do happen to find anything you like, just tell them the small scape sent you. Why? I don't know. I, I just thought it would be really fun. The fish that I'm going to mention have to have certain qualifications to make my list. If it is going to be the only fish in there, it has to have a really cool personality. It has to have a fun activity level it has to be somewhat interesting because it's the only fish in your tank. So those fish that hide excessively might not work so well. They also have to have an awesome coolness factor. It's your only fish, so it has to be really, really cool. Either colorful, colorful or just really interesting or what have you. And then also, it can't get lonely. If it's gonna be the only fish in there, it can't be a fish that prefers to be either in a pair, in a group, in a school. It has to be perfectly content, I promise, all by itself, just you and him or her. Number one, the honey garami. I love garamis, especially the honey garami. If you're looking for a lot of color, a lot of, they, they don't really zoom around the tank. They just kind of poke, they kind of mosey, but they're so much fun and grommies with their little arms, you know, they, they kind of move and feel around. I think they're so fun. They come in a gold or a yellow and then also an orange. I prefer the yellow color. It's just so vibrant. And I was just thinking to myself, what a fun tank it would be to set up. Because you know, you have the saltwater world and then you have the freshwater world. We're part of the freshwater world. How fun would it be if you liked really colorful fake plants and you wanted to set up like a saltwater looking aquarium but you don't want to mess with the salt and whatever else they have to do? Wouldn't it be fun to put in a honey grommy in a saltwater inspired tank? I don't know, I just thought that would be really fun or just using really colorful fake plants. It's just an option, I don't know. But the honey grommy is so interesting and fun. Not only can you, you can certainly keep them in uh, multiples in larger aquariums, but if you have a small tank, a five to a 10 gallon size tank, you can have just one single honey grommy. If you have other fish in there uh, and you're getting a bigger size tank, yes, they can go with a lot of other fish. I really like the ember tetras with them. Uh, really beautiful because you have the orange of the ember tetras and then the yellow of the honey grommy. It's just an awesome combo. But one fish, one honey grommy. Number two, I will always love this fish, and this was probably one of the first ones that really suckered me into the hobby, and that is because it is adorable. It is super tiny, but it is super interesting. I think this one is the coolest fish because it looks like a completely shrunken fish, like a bigger fish that you would have in a, a bigger aquarium, just shrunken smaller with very fine, beautiful details, and you can only keep one. You can keep, of course, a pair or something if you have a bigger tank or even a uh, smaller, like a 10 gallon, you probably could keep a pair. But if you want just one, go with the Scarlet Battis. Love the Scarlet Battis. Now, Battis come in different variations, different kinds. I did have the Battis Asimensis 
and he he was actually quite quite a bit larger so a five gallon would have been a pretty small for him but he was probably like at least double the size of a scarlet baddis probably triple he was his name was killer and uh he was a stinker so i would stick with the scarlet baddis you got a beautiful like reddish and blue color in there i just cannot believe that this is a, a beautiful little nano fish that is very simple to keep it does require uh, live foods. It can be a little bit particular. So if you don't want to mess with kind of uh, live foods or just uh, a picky eater, I wouldn't I wouldn't do the scarlet baddis. But for those of you who are willing to tackle that and uh, you want just one fish, go with the scarlet baddis. Number three, this is a fish that I consider kind of an acquired taste. When I first saw him, I was like, well, I don't know, he's kind of funny looking. Now I love them because they're just so cool and just so fun to watch and the, the details on them, they're just, they're stunning little small fish. It's the peacock gudgeon. Who doesn't love gudgeons? It's just fun kind of fish to say and have. They have beautiful coloring. You can keep just one. Of course, you can keep multiples if you're going in a larger size tank, but the five to 10 gallon size tank perfect for just one. You can make them kind of a centerpiece fish too if you have a larger aquarium that you have other fish in, but it's just a fun, fun fish to have and he just has like a totally different face and he's just, he's so gudgeon -y. Number four, one of my all-time, I told you, I warned you that I was going to say that they're like all my favorites. I'm warning you again, or if I didn't before, I'm going to warn you. The pea, pea puffer. Pea puffers are Probably everybody should keep a pea puffer at least once in their life because they are so much fun. I don't think you can get more bang for your buck in a small tank than if you have a pea puffer. They usually say five gallons per pea puffer. So if you're gonna have a pair, if you're gonna have a trio, just give five gallons per pea puffer and then you should be fine because you don't want them duking it up because they, be, they can be stinkers. Now I did have a trio and they were fine. They were actually very, very shy, but that's unusual. They, they can be stinkers. They can kind of hide a little bit. They can be a little squeamish, but they're gonna come out plenty for you to see them. And they're just so cute with their gooey little eyes. They just, they do a little helicopter all over the tank. Their swimming is unlike any other fish and they're totally awesome. And they're perfect for naming really goofy names. Like mine was Larry Moe and Curly. I'm just saying. Number five, I'm gonna include this one even though possibly may hide on you a little bit, but it is worth it because it's in the Grammy family. It is the sparkling Grammy, the, I would say the weeest, but the tiniest Grammy out there. So beautiful. I actually don't currently have any sparkling Grammys right now and it's bothering me on a daily basis. They are so stinking cute and they're beautiful. They're both cute and beautiful. They are very interesting to watch. So if you like a lot of just to study your fish and what they're doing and, and how they're moving about the tank, this is an, just an awesome, awesome pick. They have kind of opaly colors on them and I thought it would be really fun to set up a small tank, but with very large scale plants to make the fish look even smaller. I thought that would be really fun. But there was also a tank, and I don't know if I got any footage. This was in Zuse in Elgin, and they had a tank, I don't even know what size it was, somewhere around uh, maybe a 20 gallon. I, I don't even know if I'm close, but it had multiple sparkling grommies in there, and they were so cute. There, it was just, it's almost like a, like a little treat when you get to see them and they're not super brightly colored so you're not gonna have like the honey grommy color like wow there it is but if you want to do a little hunting and just kind of looking around for them it's a great choice they're so much fun and i highly recommend if you've never had it now i am curious have any of you kept any of these all of these do you have any favorites on this list or have you kept a single fish that you think hey you forgot it it's an awesome fish just to keep one of Great for a gift if you're setting up an aquarium for somebody else. Oh, pick one of these. They're just they're just so much fun. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.